In today's video, we're gonna take you guys to outer space with six add-ons, modifier setups, and shader packs that you are surely gonna find useful in creating beautiful space scenes within Blender. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with True Space, which is an extensive collection of high-quality HDRIs that can be perfect for easily creating outer space environment setups. You know, Star Trek kind of stuff. This will allow you to step into a realm beyond our blue planet with a set of 30 plus HDRIs that range from distant galaxy seas, binary star systems, at the galaxy's edge, and alien worlds, to nebula shots and star fields. All the images are highly detailed and with a resolution of up to 12K, which is just impressive, and it is sometimes necessary at the same time. This results in high quality and lossless space environment setups. The add-on isn't perfect, but it is created by a trusted developer and comes equipped with a custom crafted world shader that presents simplistic parameters that allow you to control the lighting of the scene. You can modify the exposure and intensity of the light which is generated by the shader, in addition to the ability to change the hue and shift the colors of the scene as well as the level of contrast and saturation. We're gonna move on from creating backgrounds for your space scenes to actually breathing life into them by populating them with personalized and detailed planets. For this, we have an add-on called Physical Celestial Objects, which from what I can see, enables you to craft realistic and full-scale worlds. Physical Celestial Objects' main selling point is the ability to generate physically accurate planets on a real scale. So you can easily replicate the Earth with real measurements and distances with this add-on which is really, really impressive and interesting at the same time. And you can use this to create cinematic scenes, similar to the ones we see in famous blockbuster movies like Interstellar or The Avengers. Also, many video games use similar things. This is achieved through a simple but effective approach. Rather than the created planet being a model or an object, it is actually a world shader, which enables you to scale the planet to your heart's content without any quality or performance loss, compromising precision and shadow distances, or the occurrence of Z-fighting. Beyond the three provided presets, which are Earth, Mars, and Saturn, the add-on allows you to use your own textures to create a planet that fits with the vision you have for your project. It supports maps like albedo, roughness, height map, and emission channels, which can result in a highly detailed planet. Furthermore, when it comes to lighting your scenes, the add-on being a world node shader automatically acts as an environment that lights and illuminates your scene. Additionally, you can introduce a sunlight object into the add-on and you can control from which angle the planet is gonna be illuminated. More impressively, however, the add-on grants a planet surface lighting model based on HAPK BRDF that produces physically accurate ray trace shadows and reflections which helps in selling the realistic look and feel of your planets. Also, I should mention that this add-on allows you to generate cinematic atmosphere effects, in addition to basic parameters like the radius and density of the atmosphere and other stuff to control the atmosphere, and many, many, many other stuff that you can see for yourself. Now, moving on to the next add-on, which is called GeoSim. It allows you to create photorealistic and customizable planets in a short period of time. The name of the game for GeoSim is Quality and Realism, as it allows you to create texture-based planets with a realistic depth of field, specular reflections, and procedural, fully customizable atmosphere, from its thickness and density to its colors and so on. And through a dedicated node group, the add-on allows you to load and modify textures for the albedo, roughness, specular, normal, and emission channels, as well as introduce displacement maps towards the desired look for your planet. Much like the previous add-on, GeoSim allows you to use a sunlight object to illuminate and light the planet from any desired angle. I would add to that, the add-on presents a particularly interesting approach to cloud creation, as it allows you to convert your image-based or procedurally created clouds into volumetric versions of these clouds that can cast realistic shadows on the planet and the atmosphere alike in real time. From there, you can control the elevation, opacity, and displacement of the clouds, which adds an extra level of realism. 
Next, and keeping up with the theme of creating planets, we have the custom planet add-on, which comes in a paid or free limited version that allows you to experiment with the add-on before deciding if you want to purchase it or not. So let's see if it is worth it. So, with real-time feedback and a plethora of parameters, it is kind of easier to create planetary scenes that are super lightweight and barely affect the performance of your machine. This add-on, interestingly enough, presents a unique and different approach to planetary simulations because instead of creating a fully 3D spherical model, this add-on projects pre-rendered textures into a 2D plane to emulate the three-dimensional look of a planet. This might give off a feeling of being a very limited add-on as you're not able to rotate around or move around the z-axis in relation to the planet. But Custom Planet can serve as an add-on for any 3D artist regardless of their skill level, especially considering the hardware setup. Literally anyone can use it and create great shots. What I also want to highlight is the presets library of surface textures that you can choose from, including rocky deserts, rich forests, ocean planets, and much more. From there, you can add another layer of textures for rivers, city lights, or even lava lakes, and for the final layer, you can choose a cloud texture with a distribution that fits with the theme that you're looking for. It should be noted that the add-on allows you to edit the textures within extensive controls from changing their color, saturation, contrast, and even emission. Finally, you can adjust the extent of the atmospheric spread into the outer space. Also, you can add a white rim for more of a cinematic look in addition to the ability to customize its color and density. For our next add-on, we have Procedural Planet Generator, which is the first one on our list that doesn't rely on textures for planet creation. Rather, much like the name implies, it allows you to use geometry nodes to generate these planets. With this, you can bypass the need for planetary textures and create planets for your scenes directly in Blender with a great deal of artistic and creative freedom. As such, this animal's main selling point is variety and versatility. So it presents a myriad of parameters that can directly influence the look of the planet, from controlling the size and offset of the continents, islands, rivers, and oceans, to modifying the distribution and shading of the forests, deserts, and the different biomes it provides. Furthermore, you can introduce elevation and bump effects to your terrains. This, in addition to the ability to dictate the color of the clouds and the level they cover, as well as control over the atmospheric depth, density, and color. With this level of freedom and infinite design possibilities, you can actually mix different things and use different parameters and controls however you like to attain what you're looking for. Last but not least, we have Space Elements, which is an add-on that fuses creating space backgrounds and filling them with pre-made planets and space assets. From what I can see, in a short period of time, Space Elements enables you to create a space scene full with stars, backdrops, and lighting setup in a short period of time. From there, the animal presents five planet setups, which are Earth, Mars, the Moon, Jupiter, and Saturn. And it goes without saying that the planets interact with a lighting setup created by the add-on, which makes it very easy to attain the look that you're looking for. Once you're done with setting up the shot, you can introduce your space assets or browse from the library of models presented by the add-on, like spaceships, asteroids, and other space elements. And even though space elements is limited, it can be a time-saver add-on, especially for quickly creating interesting space scenes without going through the hassle of setting up the environment, lighting, texturing, creating planets, and so on. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one.